Alrighty. Alrighty. He's going. He's going. Um, with the man cave now complete, I needed to do something about the path around the back of it. Nene needs or wants a little sneaky path so she can uh, just duck into the restaurant kitchen anytime she likes without having to go through the dining area, walking past customers, things like that. Yeah, you know, when she's sneaking off there in her pajamas. Nene doesn't own pajamas. <laughs> For those new to the channel, yeah, we we do have a restaurant. This is it here. It joins on to our home. Well, we don't have a restaurant. I'm just the gardener. Look at that, look at that, Nene's taking the shortcut, she's using it. My work wasn't in vain. <laughs> anyway, if you're in the area, you're in town, in Vientian, it's not far from the tourist district. It's only about, it's only a couple of kilometres, probably about a 10 minute ride by Tuk Tuk. They'll bring you out here, so if you want to pop in, say hi, have a beer, have a feed. Um, do let us know beforehand before coming here because I'm, you won't catch me in the restaurant at night you know, I'm usually up up, up inside working, doing something um, so do give us a heads up Barn Swan it is called Home Garden uh, Facebook page link in the description below and that's got directions there so if you have any problems just click on that and show the picture to the Tuk Tuk driver anyway anyway back to what we're here for um, this video captured over the last few weeks um, shows you what it was like beforehand a mess and the process and what it looks like today and of course the the costings well approximate costings <music> To, um, I'm going to try to hunt down some of these stepping stones and put a path in over there. I'm not going to put a, a solid path like this in. It's going to be more like two lines of that. Just keep the grass in between it, clipped short. It's just to mainly keep my feet out of the mud when I do walk into the man cave. As you can see, my stepping stones here at the moment. But what's that noise? It's the van. Just got the van running just to keep it charged and going so yeah uh, just some stepping stones through here bit of a garden edge do that garden the the pawpaw tree that was here that is down to ground level now because this is Nini's little um sneaky back door entrance into the restaurant when um, when the restaurant's open and going, she just wants to duck into the kitchen and straight into the back door there. So that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, guys, just up at the nursery section, landscape supply things now. These are the ones that caught our eye, the rectangle ones. And in at this place, we've already been here. We've stopped. So I just want like a gravel path like this with the stepping stones out the back of the man cave you know the shortcut to the um to the restaurant eighty thousand kip that's eight aussie dollars for one They've, of course at the drop in the value of the kip they've doubled in price they have, so, um, we've been to another place had a look around walked up here and we come back we did come back, changing our plans, just have a gravel path out the back of the man cave and I was just going to grab half a dozen of those. Said to Nini, we'll go for a walk up along here. Some really cool plants along here. I'll just change the subject for a tick. These things, only 150,000, 150, which is 15 Aussie, 10 US. 
four dollars Aussie on these things. So I didn't know walk along here just to make sure uh, there's no others. What I'm trying to say guys, it really does pay to look around for different places. These are virtually right next door to each other. Couldn't see any out the front. Walked in here. See how Fox painted up. Made it good the darker darker colour. Same ones here. Ah see. 50,000 compared to 80,000. If you drop it to CC Park, 45,000 for about 10 of them. Uh, we're getting 14. I am going to do the path. We did even discuss making our own because of the cost of bags of cement, which is only like. Then we've got to buy the materials to do it, the time involved, how long it takes. Yeah. But virtually half the price of what it is next door. So look around, look around. Don't just accept the first price. Does she want deposit Nene or can we take some today or has she got No need to deposit, just tomorrow we Tomorrow we come back. She hasn't Oh if today is about two five No, baby now. That's okay. Yeah, she just hasn't got that many ready to go today, so we'll come back tomorrow but we've halved our cost there what we're going for. Quick look through here, they do have some nice gear in here guys, but it is a tad on the expensive side. <laughs> Statues, anything concrete here is expensive we found, compared to those bloody concrete blocks with bricks that we bought for the man cave 400 of them were 49 US dollars doesn't make sense this one very I know it's it's expensive hard honey it's 300,000 here okay 30 dollars hmm. yeah you'd probably pay more than that back home but yeah very lot. unusual so yeah, you can find places like this. This is similar to the place we just went to, a larger uh, decorator type nursery. That's what we call this. And then you've got your other sort of just like garden type nurseries. Cheaper plants, Matt. From Thailand. Okay. I do like these pots, Nene. Not these painted ones. I just like these plain concrete ones for when they age and weather and um, go all discoloured they do look good in a garden setting what's her best price she can do us on one of these her very best this one yeah for unloving price <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you eight thousand kip? No, no, eight eight thousand baht. Baht, yeah, for one or song? Just one. Eight. eight. Oh, see, we just, I just want one. Oh, she just. Ah, they're twins. They they can't be separated. Okay. Okay. We'll think about it. I'll think. No, I'll, I'll think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cup <laughs> Jay there. Good day, you. Ah, very, very special for Phalang Jay. Yeah. Six thousand kip per pair. 6,000 baht. Baht. Okay. I'll think about it. Koi si gap ma. No, no. Okay. Cup jay da. Bye gandu. 
Right, uh, next day guys, I've just picked up the stepping stones. I'm just going to store them along here for now. Um, going to leave this area to last. I'm going to do the paths around the back of the main cave first. We'll give you a look at what it looks like now. Before. So we can do a walk through the same way. What it looks like after. So this cow shit's got to go and move these pavers. This bamboo curtain thing. It's at its last legs. It's bits of cut off tile or whatever it is. I'm going to have to move that. Just scrape all this clear. Find another place for those tyres. It's a bigger job than what I imagined. But. Some people say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. A couple of cubic metres of uh, river gravel. Got some dumped band in our storage area too. Some there for when I'm uh, getting work done on the restaurant. That was delivered, Hoxan. 600,000 kip, 60, about 60 Aussie dollars. You're looking about, what's that? About 40 US delivered. Okay, I was hoping to be able to keep this. It shoots from the center. Look where the center is. And it's already gone through one bloody tile. You're gone, mate. Muscle and blood, skin and bones. I'm on that week in a bag that's strong. You load 16 tons, and what do you get? Another day older and deeper and I was just saying to Coco, you see how few roots are on this thing. And when I pushed it over, he was amazed at the amount of water that come out. When I was sli when I was slicing all the leaves off the outside, because it was in time lapse, you guys probably never seen the water that was pouring out of them. Well, they don't need many roots because of the way the leaves are designed. The way the leaves are designed funnels the water down into these chutes and the water drains down the inside of the plant and it gets its nutrition from the rainwater coming down the inside. Doesn't really need a big um, root system like your usual trees and palms and things like that to absorb water. It's absorbing 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 it straight from the rain gathered by the leaves how incredible eh i've been tempted to taste that water that comes out of it but i haven't been game enough because when it's coming out it looks crystal clear it does no my luck i'd bloody poison myself <laughs> Saint Peter, don't you call me cause i can't go i owe my soul to the company store Oh, 16 tons, and what do you get? Whoa, another day older and deeper in debt. Oh, I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine. I picked up my shovel, I walked through the mine. I loaded 16 tons of number nine coal, and the straw boss said, Well, bless my soul. I'm having to re well, I'm not having to return. I am. I've had a bit of an incident. There's a reason tools are cheap over here. So they don't last bloody long. That's all right, I've got another one here. Brother, I know it doesn't look much. They probably won't grow, um, unless I do keep it really wet here. This is our back wall, and it does stay very moist there, actually. You can see the land had subsided a bit here, just soaked away from drainage. Whack those in there, see how they go with the moisture. And cross my fingers, cross my fingers. We've just um, scored these bricks, guys. Well, not scored, just went and bought them. You often see trucks parked along the side of roads, main roads and that here, with bricks on the back of them. Um, 800 kip a brick. I'm gonna be using these as a garden edge, just to rise this up a bit, because it is a bit high over there. 125 bricks we got, which come to a total of a hundred thousand kip which is ten Aussie dollars which is about six dollars fifty US many more bricks there than what we actually need replaced down um, 
the shovel that I busted yesterday. Not as wide as yesterday's, but I'm not going to break this one. It's all one piece. This thing will still be around after I'm long gone. Um, that's it. Eight Aussie dollars. Five, five fifty US. And some sit. It's cheaper than my last one. I haven't broken my other rake. I got this just in case. Um, 30,000. Three Aussie bucks. Dollar eighty US. Always a good idea to store your shoes up like that, guys. Don't know how many times I've come out and put my foot in a shoe just to greet a big frog down the end of them. I'm sure it's a bloody surprise to them too, hey? Right, I haven't been doing much since we got these bricks. It has uh, just been raining continuously. We've got a bit of a break in the weather now. Gone and tidied this up a bit. With all the rain, which was a good thing, because there's a bit of a rise there. This just pooled here. So I've carved a bit of a drain in here to let it get away down into our drainage area here and the rain these things just never took a step back they're getting new growth on them already so good time to plant them what i'm going to do now is just um lay some sand in through here and then start placing the stepping stones don't know if i'll get to that today but we didn't have to purchase sand because we've still got sand left over from the main cave and the Renault's down there. All right, let's go. From memory from the last job, three and a half cubic metres cost us about 700,000 kip, which is roughly 70 Aussie dollars. You're looking at about 40 US. Just filling that drainage area of gravel. Hopefully it will continue to um, drain out now. Again, I just caught this unit snoozing in my shoe. I forgot to turn it upside down. Up like that, not the other way round. Go, get, get. have all been waiting for what it looks like today and with the magic of television just a few hours later this is the entrance to the main cave i really wanted this grass to be grown by the time i showed you yeah i did originally have a paved path here planned but with the garden and all the other pavement and the ramp and that i the grass in there would just soften it better. It was just going to be too much bloody concrete. And Nini's little shortcut, sneaky, sneaky track in. All these along here, this taro looking stuff, that's what I um, nicked from down near the fence line. Well, it's not really nicking. It is on our land, so it's ours. They aren't taking a step back. They're going um, gangbusters, hey and around the corner what a difference we've got a casualty too we do have a casualty i don't think he likes it poor bugger still got heaps of bricks left never used much of them and that pile there with all the ones i used and around there only cost us six dollars fifty wow Bought all this bloody gravel. It was a couple of cubic meters nearly. And probably used a third of a meter. The most expensive part of this was the plants. And this one here was the most expensive coming in at um I think that was about bloody fifteen dollars. That one. The little Mondo grass here. They were bargain. They're, they're like 
50 Aussie cents each, so about 30 US cents. 20 of them is like uh, 10 Aussie bucks, 6 US for 20 of them. But yeah, plants like this, you're looking at 80,000 kip, which is about 8 Australian dollars. You're looking about 5 US. This little unit here is just from my own stock I've been growing up. That's that's what all these are for. That's just that I spread around the place. Stepping stones, I did tell you, we were able to get them for, what was it, $4.50 a piece or $4. Don't know, I'll put it below. And this pot was, that's it, bun, 80,000 kip, eight Aussie bucks, about five US. And um, all the potting mix I use in these gardens, this black shit, you're probably wondering, what's this black shit, Todd? Well, this black shit, have a go at it. Look how rich that is. Got a bit of a stockpile of it over here. That is a mixture of the leaves from the tree dropping, dropping down into the duck pond and the cow manure that they put in the duckweed ponds, not a duck pond, duckweed ponds, to uh, feed the duckweed, which have been cleaned out right now at the moment. For those who don't know, just new to the channel, this is what duckweed is. We sell it by the kilo, 20,000 kip. Just one of our staff from the uh, restaurant looks after that. Very little work, very little work. It will, um, from a small amount, will fill one of these pools within five to seven days. Not much hard work at all until you've got to clean them out of all the leaves that have dropped in it and rejuvenate the cow shit. Fresh water, fresh cow shit. When they empty that out, they just chuck it out here. I come along and throw it on the gardens. They power. Good shit. Excuse the pun. It is. Throwing it around these units. Yeah, yeah, I know. They're a western type plant, cold climate. They like to change colour. I want to see how they go here. I do. I, I like foliage colour. But that's it. That's what it bloody looks terrific on a garden, doesn't it? And it's feeding it, it's mulching it, keeping the moisture in there. Like this, this stuff. Virtually just solid shit, ain't it? Anyway, guys, that's it. That is the garden path. I'll turn the video up, give you a side-by-side -side comparison. Well, if you see me coming, you better step aside. A lot of men didn't, and a lot of men died. have had a few requests for people just wanting a good look around the yard so this is it you're getting it got a few of these things trying to get to climb up that's just like a garanga a type of um similar to a ginger i'm pretty sure maybe i'm wrong it's more like this thing. Yeah, it does have these funny flowers on it. Of 
coffee burns the stomach turns the chemicals and caffeine you saw her bathing in the tree now you're jealous of the water Are you jealous of the water? It's all right, I'll call you that And I've been running so low that it ain't all that They say it's a take and give Oh, but emptiness knows just where I live yeah, and emptiness knows me Was it just Chemicals oh, In my head Chemicals oh, In my